Hey, today I want to show you how to create hyper-realistic displacement materials. With this you can create ultra-detailed renders from small stones to big landscapes, whatever you want, and let's jump right into it. First I show you how to create it with the Cycles render and later then with the EV render engine. Start by adding a simple plane and let's head over into the shadings tab. Let's add a new material and make sure in edit preferences and add-ons you have activated the node wrangler add-on. For some super detailed textures you can use Quixel Bridge or you can go to this website Ambient CG and download a texture of your liking. After you have downloaded the texture select the principal BSDF Select Shift Command and T. This will open up a new window and then search for your downloaded textures. The textures you need is the albedo, roughness, displacement and normal texture. With those selected just hit import. Thanks to the Node Wrangle add-on everything is set up correctly. To see the displacement we have to make some changes. First we have to go in the rendered viewport because only here we can see the displacement. I just add in a simple sunlight to see everything in the scene. After that go into the render settings and make sure that the experimental is activated. With the experimental we have a new tab down here which is called subdivision and we can change some settings here. The lower the pixels are the more detailed it is. So you can leave it at 1 or up it to 2 for the render. For the viewport we change it to 4. The off screen scale we can set to 10. This just means stuff outside of our viewport won't be rendered super detailed so our PC can handle it better. The max subdivision you can leave at 12. I will up it to 16. Now to see the effect we have to select the plane again, go into the modifiers and add in a subdivision surface. With the subdivision surface selected we change the mode to simple and activate adaptive subdivision. As you can see here the settings we set before will be used. So for the render 1 pixel and for the viewport 4 pixel. The last step we have to do is go to material, scroll down to settings and under displacement we have to change it from bump only to displacement and bump. And as you can see something weird is happening. This displacement is way too big so we have to go into the material section and change the displacement from 1 to 0.1. And as you can see now we already have super details in the texture. A cool trick I also want to show you is if you add a second plane and move this one a bit down. The white parts are like small puddles because they are in between the displacement. So if you just add in a water texture, you can easily create water puddles which will also elevate your renders. Now let's switch over to the EV settings. Sadly if you use the EV render you can't see the displacement. So we can also delete the displacement node. Now we go to modifier and add in a displace modifier, this one right here. We also don't need this subdivision anymore so we remove it. In the displace modifier we need to add a new texture so let's select new. Let's change it from local to UV and let's click those small buttons over here to go to the UV texture. Now let's open up our folder and search for the textures of our material. We need the displacement texture right here and open it. We can't see anything because our mesh isn't subdivided. That's the problem of EV. So we need to press tab to go into edit mode, right click and subdivide it. Number of cuts I change it to 100. The higher you go with the cuts the more detailed it will be. So if you use 100 and press tab again to go into object mode you can see the effect. Let's go back to the displace modifier and change the strength to 0.1 as before. And now you can see you have a similar displacement effect as with the cycles render. The cycles render will always be a little bit more detailed. If you want to have more detail in the EV render, go back into edit mode and subdivide it even more until you have the outcome you like. This technique also works for the cycles render, so if you don't want to use the displace node in the materials tab, you can also use the modifier right here, but I would recommend for the cycles render to use the displacement node in the material tab because this will save you a lot of render time. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you could learn something today and see you the next time. Peace out.